Experience without theory is blind, but theory without experience is mere intellectual play. A quote by I Kant. In a hobby that has grown seemingly overnight, with even big brands adopting custom keyword principles and features like hot swap, custom keycaps, custom switches, different plate materials, and so on. There are so many options that it could feel overwhelming for first-time builders. Or people entering the hobby, or even people who would just want something better than a membrane keyboard or their basic office keyboard. Which will lead people into asking for what is the best keyboard or switch for this board and whatnot. And you'll for sure get some recommendations and the occasional YouTube typing test and the latest switch in the market, which are all valid recommendations and of course all done in goodwill. But at the end of the day, it's not worth anything if the person himself will not try them. See, I've gone through multiple keyboards and multiple layouts in my time as a keyboard builder YouTuber. And I am guilty of telling people that I have my endgame or my holy grail as I'd like to call it. It's my Space 65 R1 with alpaca switches, lubed and filmed of course. But I still keep buying keyboards and testing out new switches. Even if I thought alpacas were like the end all be all. Because that's what I was basically looking for in a keyboard. It had to have a clacky sound, a really smooth actuation, spring weight of around 60 or 62 grams, the stabilizers that only I hear the switch, and the awesome design and programmability. But not everyone will agree with me or even like this board. And that's okay. It just has to matter to me that I like this board and that it suits my needs for what I use it for. But no, I can't read Katakana. I just like how minimal it looked. Sure, sometimes it's a headache to see characters and not know what I'm pressing, but I can still fully use it. Not the most efficient way, but it's useful to me. Although there are lots of new switches and new iterations of the Space 65, I still find it really hard to convince myself that I need to upgrade my Space 65 to the newer versions of this board. Grey Studios did a really good job with this board and all that came after it, no doubt. But ignore the fact that it has an awesome paint job and the mounting and the plate style is not up to date with today's offerings of gasket mounts and whatnot. To me, it's still an amazing board and I still find it a joy to type on. Maybe it's partly because I built it myself and the layout is just tailored to what I need. I know this board inside and out, literally. The software and hardware, that's what I mean. I do a lot of reflection and thinking because of the sheer number of switches and keycaps, keyboards, heck, even stabilizers. Like, do I rebuild this board or do I look for another board? Do I start trying to sell this board off or what? But really, all it does is just makes me think about keeping it more. Because I'm sure I like this board. And it's built around preferences that I gathered building other people's keyboards and trying other people's switches and whatnot. I guess that just comes with the territory. But the magic word really is preference. By definition, preference is a greater liking for one alternative over another or others. And I've said it before in this channel. I don't know how much of an impact it's had on my audience or if you the watcher right now realizes the importance of preference because you can get what the person from a Facebook post says 
and use that but nine times out of ten i'm pretty sure you'll find something else that will be better and something that you will like better whether it be switches keycaps or whatever part or piece of the board it is although you can build a hot swap keyboard and just keep swapping out switches and parts and i thought this was a great idea too at the start but for most of the people getting into the initial rabbit hole they will either go for a safe bet or one that is by popular demand and of course they will stay with it for a bit until the next popular switch comes out that's where people hit the decision paralysis state especially with those with a more limited budget to spend on keyboards sadly the only way to find your preference is to keep trying something new because all these paper stats don't mean a thing if it feels or sounds off to the end user say for example in tactile switches there's so many levels and types of tactility that if you're into tactile switches you really have to try it all not to mention you have to consider long pole and short pole switches as well some people like the lesser travel some don't some people like the sharpest tactility and some like it in the level of a grain of sand and franken switches is just a whole different part of the rabbit hole as well and with new switches coming out every second you're sure to find one that you really like and wouldn't mind typing on every day personally i'm glad i'm in the linear gang all i have to worry about is if it's smooth enough and if it's a long pole or not although back when i was building my space 65 the only long pole switch well that was popular was the cream switches then franken switch it with a black mx switch they result in black cherry pies that produce such a unique sound profile sought after by many but to make these switches is just too expensive and there's the chance of being a bit scratchy if the cream stems were not broken in first plus in today's market you'll easily find so many long pole switches heck even Akko is doing it and then we have those people who like that bit of scratchiness on their boards weird but to each their own personally i've tried using a bad batch of Gateron Browns and Cherry MX Blacks that weren't retooled or vintage and I hated the grainy textured strokes. When I use those boards, it makes me feel like the switch is not where it's supposed to be or something like that. I sold that board so quickly. But in today's market, you'll easily find so many long pole switches. Like I said, even Akko is doing it and they are already smooth so no need for breaking in for a cost that is so cheap they kind of feel like you're stealing from them i got the chance to buy these very hype switches the Akko cream yellow v3s and so far i'm not disappointed and it makes me excited for the upcoming stuff you can expect from Akko. sometimes your preference is also from a medical standpoint i even remember this one person on the mech market who was looking for a specific spring weight on the switches he wanted because of some finger arthritis or something true or not it still comes from him preferring this weight on his springs for keyboards it's just a trend now that the board has to have gasket mount and these gasket mount keyboards which are aimed to be bouncy and softer in typing experience if executed properly i personally i like the stiffer typing experience but i'm sure that there are people that like it on the extremely soft side and i'm sure there are those who prefer a bit of both of the soft and stiff typing experience in relation to this, even the sound of your board or the amount of foam 
where you put them in inside your keyboard of course is also going to be your preference that you build up from typing and listening to other boards or even experimenting on your keyboard that's why it's great that there is an ever-growing community of keyboard enthusiasts all hungry to try and see all the different keyboards people build and slowly build their own palettes of what they like and what they prefer Preference really is the governing factor. If you want to get your end game or even just enjoy the journey through the rabbit hole of keyboards, or even just have multiple keyboards that you just want varying feelings and sounds of, at the end of the day, only you can really know what you want in your board. After all, only your experience can define your preferences. Thank you for staying this long. If you're hearing this, I really appreciate your support. Please like and subscribe. It really helps a lot. I leave you guys with a sound test of the Revion 41. Revion? Revion? Yeah. See you next time, keyboard nerds. Thank you.